weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. Sydney, did you hear what they said about an energetic reset? I'm ready. Oops. If I think it, we you call know that what? coffee before the 11 o'clock news. <laughs> We're going to see that energetic reset right before the 11. That's what happens when we do push ups yes. before the show, right? That's, yes, that's how we get excited. <laughs> Got to get pumped up. Reset with push ups and coffee. Okay, and you know what else is getting very positive? This forecast. Our forecast is looking great for the eclipse, and it's going to be just in time because heading through the rest of this evening, we do have clouds and some rain that is going to be around. Going into tomorrow morning, still might see some light showers hours for your Sunday morning. By the second half of the day Sunday, though, we're going to start to clear things out. And then just about the best day that this could possibly happen for New England, it's going to happen. So Monday, path of totality, of course, going over parts of northern New England. Actually, over 30 million people live in this path of totality, but obviously millions more traveling to it. And New England is going to have some of the best weather really across this path. So don't want to jinx it because there could be a haze in the sky from up Upper level clouds, which might make it look a little bit different, but it's not going to be completely obstructed, especially for areas like Burlington, 59 degrees, Boston, 65 degrees. It's going to be a very warm one here in Boston. If you're seeing it, 93% totality. I have heard there's a significant difference, though, between even 93% and 100%. That 100% totality is going to be occurring. Burlington, Vermont, here is a look at what you can expect if you are traveling out for that. Three o'clock is when totality, three 26 actually is when totality begins. So this entire event over two hours from partial eclipse starting to partial eclipse ending and notice during totality those temperatures are going to drop. We start to lose that sun. It's some animals out there actually start acting like it's dusk and then we watch that return the sunlight returns the warmth returns by the time we go around 437 that's when the partial eclipse ends and then mostly sunny and upper 50s now if you're seeing it in boston temperatures aren't going to drop quite as much we don't have as much dark time the animals likely won't start quite acting like it's dusk as we go through our afternoon on monday which is just an interesting little tidbit peak eclipse time though will be at 320 and still over a two hour event locally. So going through the rest of this evening, we will see some light showers, not much showing up on the future cast because it's going to be more of the clouded up and then a few showers here and there. Nothing all that heavy as we go through our evening. Now watch Sunday. This is look at one o'clock in the afternoon. Still some showers will be around, but those clouds, they start to break up by Sunday at late afternoon and early evening. And by the time that we get those peaks of sun, it's going to be right before the sun does go down. But then we're clearing out those skies into Monday. So when I say just in time, it's going to be by the skin of our teeth that we lose this cloud cover for the eclipse. 46 degrees for high temperatures tomorrow and then basically a whole different season into Monday. Look at this sunshine and look at what it's doing to these temperatures. 62 for Boston. Natick will see 66 degrees for highs. The further inland that you are, a little less of that sea breeze effect and a little bit warmer those temperatures will be. So the 10 day forecast Monday, just about the best day on the 10 day forecast. Tuesday though is looking nice as well. Temperatures will be in the low 50s and then we're going to see our next system come into the picture Wednesday, Thursday and Friday bringing us more rain chances. But that's after a few days of sunshine, which we have earned. We deserve after all the rain and all the clouds that we've seen the past week. All right. And don't forget, if you're not by TV, you can always get Sydney's forecast right there on your phone. Just download the NBC 10 Boston app. You'll have access to our radar. And with a bit of rain expected this weekend, it can also come in handy if you're not by a television.